Hi, my name's Andrew Gray and I'm curator of herpetology, which is the study of reptiles and amphibians. Many amphibians in the world are actually dying out now through a variety of different things. Because they're so susceptible, they can absorb things through the skin. Um, they absorb moisture through the skin because frogs are one of the few animals in the world that never drink, which makes them very vulnerable to various different things. So there's lots of things, particularly in the tropics, that are affecting these amphibians. Um, one of them is a fungus that um, is actually accounting for about a third of the world's amphibians now are threatened because of this particular fungus. And one species, this species, the golden toad, became extinct within one year. One year there was 1,500, the next year there was none at all. Nobody really knows why this particular species died off, but it's thought to be a combination of climate change and also this fungus that I've been speaking about. The skin of a frog is so important to it. And I'd just like to show you one particular species that really relies on its skin to stay alive. It's called the splendid leaf frog. And this frog is a beautiful frog. It's this bright green. It's got almost tiger stripe markings down its flanks, but also in exactly the same way as all the other frogs, it's got very, very delicate skin and it absorbs things like pesticides. In places like Costa Rica, where this frog comes from, they're spraying all the time over the bananas and over the pineapple plantations. So pesticides are a major problem for amphibians and climate change is also um, because in the lowland areas, it's warming up because of global warming. But in the highlands, it's actually getting cooler because there's so much moisture being taken up from the lowlands because of the extra warmth that it creates a lot thicker clouds in the highlands and that stops the sun penetrating. And these frogs, they need the sun. They sunbathe and that helps them to clear themselves of the chytrid fungus.